Okay, I don't know if this is right or not, but the story goes on like this. And then, then, the rooster was filled with joy, flapped his wings, held his head high, and loud and strong, from the book of great farmyard songs, crowed the punctuation blues. Um, I guess I should maybe... It's a big deal here because he, he did this. Um, let's look at the punctuation. And then, an ellipsis is used if you want to show pausing, halting speech. Like, stop, think about it. Then, and once again you do that. If you wanted to show somebody drunk who was speaking, you, you would put a lot of ellipses in there as he stalled. The rooster was filled with joy. This is a list, comma, that was the first item. Flapped his wings, comma, that was the second item. Held his head high, that's the third item, comma. And, now this is inserted, and maybe you would argue that, okay, this has, these have to be semicolons, maybe. Loud and strong. It, extra information, we don't really need this, from the book of great farmyard songs. But uh, I use this to show that I underscore this, because this is not a short work. This is a, a major work, the Book of Great Farmyard Songs. Of course, it's made up. Uh, crowed, uh, we've got our subject clear back here, uh, the rooster, the rooster, the crowed. He did these things, and here's the last item. Crowed, what? The punctuation blues. And since this is short, this is just a shorter item in a greater work, I put it in quotation marks. Uh, and I, I should add here, uh, maybe I should add here QV. Yeah, I wanted to do that, QV. And, and I, uh, QV is a Latin abbreviation, quod vide, which C. Go, go reader, go, go find that, go find the punctuation blues. If I have a way to show you how you can find the punctuation blues, I will tell you, but I don't think they're composed yet. I underline it because quod vide is Latin, and you do that when you uh, are dealing with a foreign language word. That, that's a sign. This, I didn't regard this as punctuation, Cat. Uh, I didn't regard this as punctuation. Uh, th this is uh, italicization, you'd call it. This is an indicator to the printer to italicize it. And quod vide, these are abbreviated. So I put a, a period there. All right. What we actually say is, and, and then, then, the rooster, oops, the rooster uh, was filled with joy, was filled with, that's not voice, that's aspirated, with joy. Joy. Now that may be a little hard sound for a foreign language speaker. It could, sometimes I, I, I write it as DJ, uh, well, no, D, D, Y, J. Joy. Flapped his wings. Held his head high. Held his head high and loud. Oud, oud, loud and strong from the book. From the book. Oh, book of great farm yard songs almost the same songs crowed owed crowed the the Punch, here we go again. Punk, punk, 
punctuation blues QV. <laughs> well, what we say is QV. That's what QV, that's what we say. All right, uh, uh, let me try it. And then, then the rooster was filled with joy, flapped his wings, held his head high and loud and strong from the book of great farmyard songs crowed the punctuation blues, QV. Um, in German it would be this one, Dan, Dan, Vardehan. See, we've got the verb here already, was the rooster, instead of uh, putting it after. Var der Han mit Freude erfüllt, with joy filled. Schlug, <laughs> schlug, that's like slug uh, in, uh, in English, like you slug something. Schlug, schlug mit den, uh, schlug mit den Flügeln, fl uh, Flügeln uh, slugged with the wings, hielt seinen Kopf hoch, held his head high, und laut und kräftig, and loud and crafty. This is like crafty uh, in English. I, I remember, I'm going to try to teach you to love German. Uh, the craft, uh, it's like witchcraft, that, that ability. Uh, Crafty, uh, but it doesn't quite work in English. Uh, aus dem, out of the Buch von Grossen Far Farmhof Lieder. I made that word up. I don't think that exists in German. Uh, but I don't see why you couldn't say it. Hof is yard, farm is farm, Farmhof Lieder, songs. Krete er, crowed he, krete er. Uh, the punctuation blues. Uh, and QV would be the same. All right, it's getting pretty strange. I'm almost finished with this story. I probably have one more day, probably just one more day, and then the story's done. Uh, this is the grand finale. Okay, I hope to see you tomorrow.